Hi, welcome to Fantasy Fight Life. In this video, we will show you, how to set up Fantasy Fight Life in advanced overlay mode, we call it lifted mode, on your Twitch channel, step, by, step. For those of you, who do not yet know, what Fantasy Fight Life is, we got a huge load of information on its website, firesplash.tv slash FFL game. It is basically an interactive overlay game for Twitch streamers, or better said, for their viewers. When you're ready to start setting up the new interactive experience on your stream, hit the button on the bottom of the page. You will be redirected directly to the extension on Twitch. At this point I think it's interesting to know, that the extension is strongly recommended but optional. If for any reason you do not want to include it on your stream, viewers can join via the chat. When you are ready to go, hit, install, in the top right corner of the page. You will now be presented a dialogue that informs you, that the extension has to be further configured, before it will appear on your channel. Click configure to proceed. The next screen is an info screen showing the next setup steps. The most important information, which you will read every now and then, is that you should never ever reload the game while you are streaming, of course except in case of a bug or a like. When you are done reading, click visit FFL dashboard. The next screen, you will most likely see is the consent dialogue of Twitch, asking you to approve some permissions to the game. As these are very wide-ranging permissions, we want to give a short intro into what the game is using them for. The game will connect to the chat and listen for commands. Also it will write chat messages, for example when fights happen. Further we support channel points rewards, using bits for various actions, as well as benefits for subscribers. Another planned feature is rewarding viewers for participating in hype trains. All the permissions, we are asking for, are used to support features in the game. If you should have any concerns, please feel free to ask. When you accept those permissions, click the authorize button. Now, that you are logged into the Fantasy Fight Life dashboard, you will notice, that you can see like nothing. This is because you did never use it in a stream, yet. You can simply click the big button below the warning but as you might want to return to the setup information later, we'll just use the menu button browser source setup on the left side of the screen. This page tells you all essential information, you need so set up Fantasy Fight Life on your stream. You should not miss to read the important usage notes to get a smooth experience for your viewers. Especially you need to follow the recommendations about the browser source resolution as well as the checkboxes on the bottom. When you are ready, click the security warning which is covering the URL field to reveal the secret link and copy the complete URL. Now we'll switch to our OBS, but please do not close the dashboard yet. As you can see I have what up a sample set of scenes utilizing three basic views, IRL, gaming and a starting soon screen. We will start by creating a new source of type browser. Remember, the most important setting is the resolution, as well as those checkboxes. Now we you can see FFL updating and loading. After a few seconds we have a frame of nothing. This is the FFL canvas. As we want to create an advanced setup, where fights are not cut to the bottom of this canvas but can be positioned quite straightforward, we'll switch back to the dashboard for a moment. At the left side you can find a lot of configuration menus. Those pages are structured into different categories. Basically gameplay settings is for how the duels work, sound settings, controls the audio mixing, and channel behavior everything related to how the game behaves and looks on your stream. In channel behavior under visual settings you can find the option lifted mode, which is what we are looking for. Enable it and then also enable the setup mode next to it, as we will need it for perfect positioning. Oh! Don't forget to hit save. When we are back in OBS, we can do a refresh of the browser source to see the changes. Now the game is presenting a strange looking overlay with different areas. If we would not use the lifted mode, 
we would usually position the source like this, so that the heroes walk on the bottom edge of the stream. But, lifted mode gives us a way better option. Maybe not for this screen, but for the others. Hold on. Let us just fix the positioning for the startup screen. Okay. You only have to ensure, that the red line is exactly below the point, where you want the arrow's feet to be. The red line is their floor. This should be perfect. Now we will copy the source. This is an important step. Now we'll head over to our second scene, the IRL screen. Right-click into the sources list and select paste reference. You will notice that the same screen immediately appeared, without loading. This is the magic behind the references option. Just as in the starting soon screen, we will now position the overlay according to the red line. This time I'll place it on the bottom edge of the camera view. We need to watch out, as our red line is still under the feet. For the gaming scene we'll take a quite cool approach and place the fights on top of the camera view. Just like this. For better positioning, I'll expand the size of my scene view. Now we're done in OBS for now. We will just head back to the dashboard and disable the setup mode again, but leave lifted mode enabled. Refresh the source and everything is back to normal. Back in our browser, we still have to finish the extension setup on Twitch. Just close the config dialog and you will see the extension is installed and is waiting to be assigned a slot. You can activate it into any slot but we strongly recommend component, or even better overlay. The overlay slot gives the best experience for the viewers as they never have to switch views. Now we'll go live for a test, as the overlay slot is only visible while we are live. You can now see, that the overlay extension is working on your stream. It is showing the editor button as well as some statistics about the player. We can now join for a random fight. While we are waiting, we'll have a look at the armory, aka hero editor. Viewers are also asked for their permission, when they visit the editor for the first time, but the system requires way less permissions. The Armory provides viewers with statistics, a set of basic heroes, or the possibility to create their very own hero. We will now simply select a basic standard hero. Back to OBS we can now watch our duelants fight each other. The starting soon screen does not look special right now but when we head over to the IRL screen, you can see that our heroes are walking on the place where the red line was, but their weapons actually overlap your layout. This is an amazing detail rather to just culling them away. Hopefully I've been able to help you setting up the fantasy fight life, lifted mode. If you still got any concerns or questions, reach out via our Discord or by mailing to us. Now, have fun streaming!